Welcome back to the backyard studio. Uh, we're going to attempt a bisque in a converted electric kiln. Um, up to this point, all of my uh, ware has been bisque by others, mostly at a community college nearby where I would take a class, but at some point I'm trying to be more self-sufficient and uh, attempt this and we'll see how many pots I can break. What we've uh, got here, I've got uh, five pots ready to go inside the kiln here. Uh, four of them out of Raku clay, one uh, white cone 10 clay with uh, burnished with some terra sigillata on it. Um, hoping for somewhere between cone 010 and 08, a very soft bisque. Uh, and not to break anything, although I doubt that I'm going to be successful, but we're uh, going to put the lid on and give it a try and we'll update you throughout and show you the results for good or bad at the end. Alright, just want to update you on my first attempt at bisque firing in my little converted uh, electric kiln. We are about three hours in. And uh, we can see this or not, probably not. We're at about 600 degrees, about a third of the way where I'd like to get to, but um, probably won't get that high. Uh, see in the kiln, there's really uh, no color in there yet. Um, I'm going very slowly here to avoid any breakage. Uh, not that things aren't going to break, but um, so far so good. At some point I'd like to uh, really push the envelope and see how quickly I can do a bisque firing. Uh, saving fuel and time and all that, but um, update you again in a little while. about four and a half, five hours into my first attempt at uh, bisque firing. We're at about, oh, what is that, 1725? Uh, looking for 1750, 1800 maybe. Uh, you can see the kiln is glowing a uh, nice, I say that's orange. Nice bright orange. Um, we had a little soot that is uh, burned out. Pots were a little sooty, that's all burned off. Um, just gonna see how far up we can get. Yeah, looks like now we're at about 1750. Probably around 1800, I'm gonna shut this down. Uh, close up the holes, close up the uh, lid, and uh, hopefully it cools down slowly enough that the pots don't break and um, be back with you when we shut down. Well, we're at uh, 1800 degrees. On my first attempt at uh, bisque firing, about where I wanted to reach. Looks like it would have gone a little more, but uh, I'm running out of daylight. And so I'm gonna shut down, shut down the gas, try to plug up all the uh, openings, 
and let it cool. Alright, so gas off. Let's put a brick up here. Put that brick over. That's plugged up. Let's see. It's tough to do. Hopefully uh, this isn't too hot. Not as, it's not as tight as I'd like it to be, but over a little bit. Alright. A little uh, handmade plug here. See that's still, still glowing. down. I'll come out in a few hours and check it. Well, I guess the lid can't be too hot. There's a spider crawling around on it. Of course, he might be baked spider in a little time. Yeah, well, I don't think he's doing too well. <laughs> get, get off of there. And, uh, we'll see you in a few hours. Uh, so I have to, uh, I have to wait overnight. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, I'll give it a try. And believe me, uh, for good or for bad, I will definitely uh, show the results when we get them. All right? We'll see ya. All right, well, I wanted to show you the results of my first attempt at disc firing in my converted electric kiln, which I fire with uh, propane. Um, well, let's see. Uh, this one pot here, which I expected, did crack, but it was cracked previous to me putting it in here. Well, I can't see it, but it was cracked in here and cracked a little more uh, right here but I kind of expected that because it was cracked to begin with around the bottom here and then uh, it does kind of go all the way through so this still might be good for uh, as a test pot or, or something to test the glaze we'll see thankfully everything else came out pretty well um, this is uh, a little smudge of uh, dirt on it from who knows what. Uh, this is raku clay. Bisque. Didn't crack. Uh, nice little bowl. Again, uh, raku clay. No cracks. Seems like it's pretty well bisque fired. And a little raku clay pot. Ah, oh, that one rings. This is a uh, white content clay. No cracks. So I have to say all this was uh, fairly successful. I seem to uh, be lucky the first time I do something it works out. Uh, next time they'll probably all explode or something. But uh, this one, fairly successful. Uh, got up to about 1800 degrees, cone 07 or so. Uh, temperature was still rising, so I can probably get uh, at least 1850, 1900 degrees out of this, and uh, this is great. It'll allow me to uh, work at home pretty independently, not rely on anyone else to do any firing for me, and uh, we'll see how it goes from here. See you next time.